Hey guys, those in the mud here. Welcome back to Genuine. In the last episode, I'm really getting bad at these. Uh, we we uh, <laughs> we're just doing missions in Russ Commons West or whatever this place is called. And Mr. Movie is still here. Hello. Yep. Um, so we're not right now. We're finding a parts for scooter. Oh, here's one. Uh, now we're actually just missing one. Now I think about it. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure this doesn't direct me to where they all individually are. Unless... Oh, yes they do. <laughs> and I just wasn't paying attention to it. Ha! I got it. Yeah. Perfect. Got it. Oh yeah, there's a... <laughs> there's a Some random old gun. Just yeah, it's a it's corrosive gun. Alright, so we just did that mission. Um, cool. But right now I really want to play. You <laughs> just, want to... Just, just to... Uh, I want to get it and then... And just because of all the corrosive stuff, because we, we did that in um, the pre sequel DLC mm. for Aim Australia Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, each game has different elements. So this one's got <coughs> corrosive, fire. Nice. No, it's got uh, corrosive, fire, electric, and technically explosion. They count that as an element. Um, but they count it more of an element in this game than they do. In that one. I actually gotta, I'm gonna run back through this way so I can get a car and then drive to these locations because we're gonna do get find some journals. Um, in the second game, they have uh, fire, corrosive, electric, slag, and uh, explosive. Where slag is, you shoot it on someone, they turn purple. It's purple yeah. one, and uh, they'll take more damage from uh, attacks. So it can be really good strategically. And it's quite a nice weapon, you know? So you see a boss, like, oh, quick, we've got to slag him, you know? Yeah. Um, and then in the pre-sequel, it's fire, electric, corrosive, and ice, and explosion. So. Mm. But ice is nice. It's a new element. <laughs> nice ice. It's cool because it goes hand in hand with a, a new thing that they have, which is... Um, the butt slam where you pound on the ground and you can make them exploit if they're in the ice. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, <coughs> but yeah. So I thought you said the butt slam. It is called the butt slam. Oh uh, Yeah. Why, why is it called the butt slam? It's because you, slam, you slam your butt into the ground. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> like, even the devs call it that. Wait a second. Did I just. I just jumped over this. I don't know. I wasn't into. Okay, hello. Um, swell. It's not where we want to be. We'll come here at another stage. The bandit town. This is where One Eye Jack is, I believe. Mm -hmm. We'll come to that later. And see, could Whee! you kill him without having the mission to do it? Uh, yeah, but he'd respawn so I can do the mission later. Oh no! <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, when you see those barrels, don't drive over them. There goes he'll explode. You will explode. Um, I'm an idiot. So let's not do that again, eh? Um. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that was pink. I'm way back here. Are yeah, because you... I'm making them pink. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I feel like it. Pink isn't even my favourite colour, I just do it for the lols. Whoa! Losing control, Captain! Whoa! In reality, these guys are just quite fun to control. Right, okay, I can do this. Da 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 da! Stupid sticks. <laughs> the river sticks. River sticks. Stop being naked. Make the noises, wee one. Gosh. I love hate you so much. What's with the no water splashes? I don't know. This game wasn't that ahead of its time. <laughs> it wasn't. Who, no they, didn't, even, they didn't. They didn't. People barely splash. knew what water even was. <laughs> rack in issue. Oh god. So we got another legendary rack. This one's a lot smaller than. I think someone else was shooting it. Oh god, it's a breach fire. Like a fucking dick. Jesus. Just getting them on the buildings. Well, but can they burn? Can they burn the buildings? I think so. We well, don't burn it, but you can burn it inside. My god. This does a lot of damage. There's no one even here. I believe that what we want is right here. Dark Corporation D2. I've been 
I like thing out of reading the, uh, the diaries because it is quite informative to the story and stuff. Does it help you give that? Does it give you a better reason to do whatever the story thing is? Yeah, it's just interesting. It's just to see how, because we haven't even met her yet, and yeah. if we're kind of we're, we've been detailing her kind of descent into insanity, and then when we see her, she is completely insane. So you know. Do you have to fight it? Um. I, I killed that and leveled up at the same time, and I'm very satisfied. Uh, I want to use shield. That's, that one was very good. Okay, um, so let's put a level into. Hmm, Do you have to fight it? Uh, oh, uh, no. No, you don't at all. Mm. But I didn't want to spoil it, but there isn't. <laughs> there's nothing to spoil, really. Yeah. Uh, okay, where do you reckon we should put it into? More health? More this? You haven't got anything in elemental. Oh, this one? Uh, it's because I don't really want anything. It's too specific on stuff. So you're just going for a controller assassin type thing? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh. I know Aaron maxed his out. Like, he went beyond uh, out of five. He had like 10 out of fives of Borderlands 2. Can you do that in this? Uh, the, the reason he has that is because we there are cl certain class mods that do that. And I actually think I already have some on. Mm. Um, but that's not indicating it. Um, because this game What's is... What's the sword thing do? The sword is increases my critical hit damage. Mm. Can it... Is it something that can increase chances to critical hits? Uh, it's 15% uh, increased chance. Alright. No, that's, no, the, oh, that's the damage. Oh, no, chances... Not there, there is no chance, because every enemy has a weak spot. Oh, alright. Yeah. So what other things are there for SS? Oh, here, you look around. Yep. Pick whatever one you like, as long as it's something I've already put points into. Okay. <laughs> you see, the, if you put one into either one of those two trees, then the, the, the tree will continue and I can get the next level. Hmm. The next uh, couple of abilities. It's an accuracy in bullet damage. Damage reduction of the phase walking. Yeah. I feel like you need to deal more damage. Alright, you can get that. Is there anything that these do do more damage? Alright, well, damage is dependent on the guns that I have. Alright. Go Enforcer. Okay. What was that again? Enforcer increases your damage and something else that I didn't pay attention to. Alright. Uh, bullet damage and accuracy. Yeah, right, that's cool. More accuracy on this gun would be very nice. Uh, yeah, so. And that was that. Uh, let's go see if we can't find the next urinal. Where'd the body go? Uh, I don't know. Where did I kill it? <laughs> I was not paying attention. Uh, it's not as big as Mothrak. Mm. Um, it came out from over here, actually. It came out from a rack hive or something. That's the end of the map. Mm. I know. You're not happy with me. Uh, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Meow. It's with the big, uh, the guy scraper to the left. Yeah. What? That? Oh, that's not a scraper. It's a... The windmill. windmill. <coughs> and it's just generating power, like windmills do. Mm. Okay, let's go to the next location. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Ah, uh, need to. Wow! Jesus Christ, that was close. The perfect. I meant to do that. Uh, is it here? Yes, it is here. Okay, well, let's kill these guys. <coughs> yeah, I really like finding all these journals and stuff. I love expanding the lore of places. Yeah. Like I said, recently I've been uh, looking at all the Fallout lore videos. They're a lot of fun. I recommend that if you were interested in my Fallout series. Um, I just love like hearing about that kind of stuff. You know? mm. Getting immersed in it, you know. But I find games like Fallout in this. But like, you don't like the the whole lore thing in uh, Borderlands. I like it. But you don't like the uh, the space stuff. Like the man goes to space and. Uh, no, oh, that's because you like it being more specific about this planet, rather no, than no, no, yeah, I like it how it's how it is specific about this. I don't mind that uh, other space stuff, but they don't need to give that context. You know, I like yeah. that. Like, they tell you it's everything. Much you, they tell you what you. Yeah, humans. it's all implied. It's not the story about finding space. It's the story about what's happening on this planet. You know, and that's all we need to know. 
Yeah. You know? We don't need to know what to, what year in the future it is. Because, you know, so many, like, futuristic things like, the year is 2077, and the robots had taken over Earth because of this and that and this and that. For us, in this, it's just like, you are going to a planet called Pandora, and you're trying to find a vault. It's like, okay, that had nothing to do with, like, why, like humans and space travel and what's in this universe and stuff like that you know yeah. it's just it's, it's everything is implied everything is known it's all good that was a badass fire <laughs> thing over there oh I never even found the diary I just drove off <laughs> uh, I think I'm supposed to have to climb up here okay but uh yeah I don't know it's, it's, it's just like I, I just really right. like that you know when you don't have to explain absolutely everything but you explain the yeah. things that you do want to know in detail um, I think it's cool. It's a good way of storytelling, you know? Um, let's see, what kind of grenades do we have here? Pretty bad, cool. And what do we have here? A rocket launcher! Yeah, I don't know. Do you have a good rocket launcher? I don't use rocket launchers, really. Do you know anyone that does? Uh, not really, actually. Um, hmm. Where is this? Because you were using it in the first few episodes. I wanted to show it off. Oh. It's the rocket launchers just aren't my thing. I don't know why. I just, oh, oh there it is, right there. Jesus. She keeps doing the video recordings for the audio, audio diaries. Mm -hmm. Oh, until she stopped doing them. Yeah. Uh, she went for free for quite a while. She actually keeps doing them. Hmm. Yeah, even in Borderlands 2, when you see her again, she's like making one when you uh, first see her. symbol of the game. Yeah, that could be the vault then. The vault symbol. It's uh, quite infamous. And whenever you see the vault symbol, you know, the, uh, the, there's the cult of the vault, which you never really meet, but it's like a thing that people know about. Um, but yeah, <coughs> so that symbol that we see everywhere is the vault symbol, you know? See, that's a pretty important, like, cool lore expanding thing that I like. It's also relevant to the storyline. It's relevant, but not important, you yeah? know? Okay. Although the 200 year cycle thing kind of is, but like I think we find that out in another way anyway. Like I said, we still gotta meet a tennis. But we don't meet her for like quite a while as far as I know. Oof. Fill those ranks. Yeah. They're dead. They're whatever. God, also, I think this episode's gone like way over time, so in the next episode, we'll be uh, finding the last two journals. Alright? Bye. Uh, See you guys next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.